All right, guys, we are in Provo today. We had to take Caitlin um, to a test, so we thought that it would be fun to do some thrifting while we're waiting for her to get finished. So this is a Deseret Industries thrift store. There are no Goodwills down in this area. So this is like the biggest one that's around here. And then there's a bunch of little, little mom and pop antique stores in Provo. So this thrift store is the size of a giant grocery store. It's, it's huge. huge. It's like mostly the size. clothes. <laughs> like the home decor area is the same. So I'm just looking at all the glassware. Zeb's actually over there filming. I like this organizer type thing. I think, like, what do you think that would be for? I don't even know. I'm gonna think about it. I don't know. I'm gonna, I wish these dividers went all the way up. I feel like that would make it more functional as a divider. It's been a while since we've been down here. I forgot how big this thrift store is. They've got probably a quarter of the size of the other thrift stores just in furniture here. Like this. Jamie just asked me if I was going to take all the stuff before she got to it. What do we have here? Do we have some cobalt blue plates? Two dollars each. Usually they're like a dollar. I'm going to pick these up because I think I sold all my last ones. Here's a pampered chef stoneware baker. Two dollars. Definitely gonna grab that because I can't keep pampered chef in stock, especially the bakers. They sell really well. So here's a decent amount of fault scrap. I will get the salt and pepper shakers. I will get this little dish. I will probably leave the bowls and the plates behind because they're not as popular, but this serving dish I will go ahead and grab because this is popular. So with these particular pattern, I just like the interesting pieces, but the like bowls and plates just aren't as big as sellers for me. I'm out in the yard. I don't know if it works, but that's actually a really good price on a bandsaw, even if the motor's not working. Oh, $10 a crate. Little juice glasses looks like. I kind of love this. Oh, $8 though. I don't love it for $8. So I'm out here in the yard. I'm not seeing a ton of stuff that I'm interested in. There are some things that if I didn't already have a lot, I probably would pick up, but I'm being really particular because we have a ton of stuff for this week. So I'm gonna go check out collectibles. I actually have a huge collectible section here. We'll see if there's anything worth grabbing out there. Big floor to lee candlestick. Oh, I thought it was wood. It's actually fairly thin, like porcelain. I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave that one. We got, we've got a lot of candlesticks this last week. Pineapple candlestick. Got a lot of fun stuff here. This is kind of neat. Is that a vase? Kind of like this, but for a different plate. I think I'm gonna go try and see if I can find a plate or pedestal to put that on. Like in that too. Oh, it's plaster. I thought it was plastic. Two dollars. So the collectible cabinets are pretty empty. I wonder if they just haven't had anything good for a while. But I'm not seeing anything that I can't live without. So the only thing that I see that I'm interested in is this pitcher. It's ten dollars and it looks great with floral for spring. So I think I'm gonna grab that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Five bucks. These are cool. Five dollars. Oh, and that one's missing a foot. I'm gonna pass. We usually don't find these this big. They're $3 each. Those are nice big flower buckets. I wonder if Jamie's been through here and left these. They're false graph, not super old. I'm gonna guess she hasn't been through here. I like this. I wonder if that would fit with my little dome. Let's take a look and see. Oh, it does fit in that circle. Kind of different design on the etching. 
So Jamie has already been he through here. So if I see stuff, there's a chance that she didn't see it, but there's a higher chance that she saw it and didn't like it. This little metal bowl, for example. This is straight. Now it's got a bend on the foot. Two dollars though. I think a new paint job and this could be awesome. Normally, I probably wouldn't pass on this. It's not like a really fine silver, but for a dollar and it's got three little feet. The feet are selling me. How much is this little guy? Someone's already whitewashed it for me. A dollar. So I saw this here and there's another mercury glass situation over here. Let me see. Oh, I think they're different tints, not not a pair. Yeah, that's too bright. Although it does fit on there. Uh, no, that's a no. So we spent just under $50. I did get this picture. It has an M on it. It's right there. Not the honey hole that I was hoping it would be, but we did find some good pieces that we don't always get everywhere. So it's gonna be a fun mix to the, to the week that we got here. Did we need it to be a honey hole after everything we already bought this week? No. no. Is this going on this week's thrift haul? Yeah. Oh goodness, that's gonna be, we're gonna have to wrap it by, that's gonna be a big haul on Saturday. We're also gonna go visit an antique store and then I think we're gonna call it. Cause we got some time. I hope they're open today, it's right here for the Santa. It says antiques. I moon glass antiques. I've never been inside before, so we'll I didn't see. Didn't even know it was here. I see everything when we're driving down the road. <laughs> so I don't know if we'll find anything we can actually flip for a profit. <laughs> Are you filming too? I'm filming you, but I'm actually really excited to go in here. Just looking at the window from the outside, there's stuff yeah, there... that I want to go in and look at. There's lots of good stuff. Are you filming too? I'm I'm actually really excited to go in here. Just looking at the window from the outside, there's stuff that I want to go in and look at. I think got copper just chilling out here. It looks like this is like copper slash brass. Just planters. Yeah. They got a whole blacksmithing section here. A couple anvils, vices, some dyes. I like how they have everything displayed here together, like the brass and the silver. Looks good. Oh, look. Found one similar to this the other day. 20 bucks. It's a really cute square cutting board. I was like all the woodwork. Dough balls. Coral rolling pin. Some pretty good pricing. I'll be curious to see if there's anything that we buy to like put in our stud shop or if we just look and enjoy the beauty. Okay, I think I have a couple of those at the shop. That's pretty. I got some great buckets. I love this antique tin building. That's so cute. They have a lot of good stuff here. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part wanted to give it because nothing was changing price for these so we usually sell them for like 12 ish dollars so maybe I'll grab some for the shop because I think we're almost completely sold out. All right, Moon Glass Antiques, definitely a great place to stop. We just picked up some jars. Most of things were probably right at what we would sell them for. We sell these jars for about 12 to 14 and they just look really good in the shop. So I think $5 a piece is a really great price. The mountains in Provo are like amazing. 
They're always really good to film. We're headed to Savers next uh, because we never come here anymore. We'll see if it's overpriced or what. Because <laughs> last time I came here, I feel like everything was more expensive than I thought it would be. I spy with my little eye something copper. 15. And. Is it 15 for the set? Um, I think this each. Ten. I'm going to get this. It's kind of Middle Eastern looking. I'm not sure about that one, but this one I'll get. They are loaded with stuff today. Seven dollars. Does have a stamp on it, Wallace. It's a cool clock, pendulum clock. Four ninety nine. Yeah, I think I'm. Gonna, I'm actually gonna get that just in case I want the dome. No, I think the whole thing is cool. Yeah, no, and I think it's a porcelain face. Yeah, that's old. I don't want anything that needs painted unless it's life changing. That's the that's the quote that of the day. Need, that doesn't need painted. That's cute. All right. And it's heavy. They have the best bag wall here. Loads of Christmas. Old crockery jug. $5.99. Um, that's a steal. I'm going to get that. This cute little French base here for $3.49. I wasn't going to buy any more Christmas, but these peach ornaments are really good. I'm definitely picking them up for $2.99. They're from Made in the USA, but apparently they're German inspired. Look how pretty they are. So we're just gonna buy a few things today and look what happened. It was a thrifting accident. It just jumped into our car. Three stores later, you know, even, even the high-end expensive savers store, high-end quotation marks, uh, you know, their stuff is usually priced double or triple what we can find at the Desert Industries or even Goodwill. But we found some things today and, you know, it's good stuff. We don't find the junk. The junk finds us. All right, so we are back from thrifting and we're just finishing up our flips. I'll have Zeb insert some footage so you can see kind of where these started. My um, clay is mostly dry and so I just need to distress and wax this. These, my milk paint chipped off the top. So I'm going to just do a white on top and then dry brush. And these I didn't get started, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these painted, this cute little set here. And then Zep's gonna just finish up his candlesticks that we're done. We didn't pay over $5 for any of these thrift flips, but we've gotta get them done because some of them have sold and the rest just need to go into the shop. I'm gonna go with Americana. Just be delicate because this has a built-in sealer and then I will just distress back on the detail. Oh, look at that. You didn't even get any on the mirror. Oh, don't say that. Then the next time I paint, I'm going to get some on the mirror. Shh. Shh it's okay. <laughs> and then you just paint the edge. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I want some of that, like, detail to show. So I'm just going to kind of paint solid. And then these edges, I'm just going to dry brush. And then it'll be done. On the live stream earlier, I finished these up. These are painted with white linen and crockery in the cottage color. And it's a single step, built-in sealer paint. I'm gonna make all of these look like these two here with this kind of verdigree style finish, a little, a little grungy dark wax. And this is a trio, this is sold as a set. Someone's already purchased these. And then these we also made as a set. These didn't match at all, came randomly from the thrift store. You can see I have five different candlesticks. We made a set of two and a set of three. I think those are actually sold individually. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Well, maybe these are sold individually. You'll have to check. I'm not 100%. I'm going to make them match. They're all going to look like this. Okay, so this one obviously needs a second coat. I'm going to get that painted on there, and then we should be good once that dries to start doing the wax finish. These already have, like, multiple layers of white and then milk paint and harbor, and I'm just coming through and dry brushing them to bring out the detail. And the tops kind of got like weirdly chippy. So I'm actually just gonna paint the top of the candlestick. I'm having trouble showing them. It the all looks like one color, yeah, huh? Yeah, the difference in the color because the harbor is such a light blue. You can see, oh, there hold you on, go. it's not focusing. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I in might real have to life, it's very <laughs> like soft and subtle, but you can definitely see the difference. Did you do it on this one already? No, I was I wasn't sure what I wanted to do to this one. I don't know. Maybe I'll dry brush this too. And paint the bottom. Yeah, well, I already painted the bottom white. So Everything's looking yellowy in this afternoon light. Sorry, guys. The days are ending soon. and It's like 4 o'clock, not even 4 o'clock, and it's twilight over here. 
Yeah, well, that's all right. So can you see Oh, that? yeah, you can see that. that. That looks good. So I'm gonna, this one already sold too, so I'm just going to dry brush it, then I'll clear wax it and dark wax the detail. All right, so these candlesticks are all the way dry. Hopefully you can see the contrast. It's very subtle, but it's just a really soft, beautiful contrast between that. If you wanted to not use milk paint, you could use paint blue and white linen and get a similar look. Um, and then this was uh, vintage linen, which is DIY paint, so I have to seal it. So I'm just gonna come in with clear wax, seal this up, it's so much better than that green color, it just was not great. And then my clock, I will clear wax it, and then I'll film it in just a second because I'm going to dark wax these um, molds that we put on in the live video. And I think it's gonna look really good. You just have to be careful when you're waxing not to get it on the face. I know, I'm gonna use my finger actually to wax that. Good call. Now that I've got my base layer in, I'm gonna come with the dark wax. You always wanna clear wax first, otherwise it's just a big muddy mess. And then I will wipe it back. Let me grab a bag. And now we've got all that detail in there. You dropped a random price tag. Oh. Yeah, that happens. Oh, careful when you're waxing. I'm not going to wax inside there. You might fling a little. No, I'm just doing inside here. As soon as you're done with that, I need it back. My candlesticks are ready. Oh, okay. I'll finish my job. These mirrors, I just did like a quick little caulk on the corners along these miters here because it didn't quite match up and it looks so much better. Uh, it still doesn't match up perfectly, but now it looks like it's actually finished instead of just like big gaps. And I'm doing kind of a light paint job, not really get down in the cracks because it's already white underneath. So this just really makes it good. Once it's dry, I'll clean this mirror. And this Americana is cottage color. So it has a built-in sealer. And once we're painted, it'll be done. Zeb, what do you got going on this candlestick? So I'm just dark waxing. I'm just, I'm not like full dark waxing it. I'm just kind of hitting anywhere there's a little bit of detail and then I'm gonna wipe it back. Um, it is gonna get kind of a wet distress because I'm using a wet rag and I'm not going to let this sit on here very long and then wipe it back pretty much immediately because I just want it to be down in like these details so that they pop a little more. Here's the set again together. These are the two that he already finished. So this third one will have the dark wax. Then we're here, we're gonna use the shipwrecked wax to get kind of a verdigris finish. If you get really close, you can kind of see the turquoise that's down in the details. It's just very faint, but we're gonna take a complete mix match set and make it matching. All right, so going right back, this is damp rag. If you wanted it to be darker, you know, maybe don't use a damp cloth, let it sit a little longer, but I want most of it to come back off. I want that lighter, uh, kind of tan color cream to come back through because we're going for a neutral, not like a dark brown look. So the last step is going to be the shipwrecked wax. This is the turquoise wax. You can take clear wax and tint it to any color you want to, but to get that vibrant, I don't know that you're going to get that's going to be difficult. Like that works really well because it's mixed commercially. So sometimes it's better to just buy the dark or the black or whatever brown or turquoise, like the way you want it. So I'm being kind of ginger with this. I'm not putting a lot on because I want, this is just like a slight like accent. I don't want it to be like bam in your face turquoise. I just want it to be real subtle, like it's aged over time and maybe settled where it got wet or something. Just wipe it back and then it'll just sit down into the nooks and crannies. And if you wipe off too much, you can always come back and add more. I'm not being delicate with it. Like I'm just, I'm, whatever comes off, comes off and where it sticks, it sticks. In real life, I feel like you can see it more like when it dries, like down in the crack right there. Yeah. It's just a little hint of verdigris. Didn't do full paint coverage on here because we knew we were gonna be doing a white brush and it almost looks just like a distress because it was white underneath and then we put like a real basic, like light coat of paint over not even full coverage. You can see here, this one didn't even get in the cracks and details. I actually didn't know I was gonna do a dry brush, <laughs> but once I saw it like this, I was like, that still doesn't look complete to me. And so to finish the look, I came back with a dry brush. And for whatever reason, I don't have white swan. <clears throat> Zeb mixed it with crockery. That's white linen. So, or white linen. So I'm happy to use DIY paint. So I will have to put a little bit of wax on this white paint. That's right, um, that's easy. But then it'll be done. And then we just need to clean the mirrors. And I might do a white dry brush on that, what do you think? Yeah, I think so. 
So I'll do that and then we'll clean the mirrors and then we're done with all these thrift flips and we will show you what they all look like up close. I'm gonna call this accidental thrifting Thursday because I feel like we got almost a whole haul and we were just supposed to get some filler stuff. <laughs> we didn't get a whole haul. We got like some really good, like we cherry picked the best items at the three stores we went to. Was it three? Yeah. Yeah. Three stores that we went to and we finished up our thrift flips for profit. So stick around. We'll show you a up close slow-mo of everything. And if you need the paint products, make sure you're visiting jamieratevintage.com. Zeb will put a detailed description in the description box so you can know each product that we use. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. We'll see you on the next episode. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well, I will always be by your side. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.